I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to check that. And, and then she says, well, no, this applies to people who are on the, the watch list from Homeland Security. And I, I said, well, could, does that include American citizens? And she said, well, well, well it, no, no, this is just, this is just about keeping the firearms away from terror. This, this is not about law. This is, bill is not going to affect law abiding citizens, American citizens. And I, I said, well, I've well, read the bill. It says it's anybody on the watch list and they now put over a million people on. And, uh, you know, I'm going to cover this first after we take the calls, uh, but bottom line, well, you have more to add, don't you? Yeah. Can you hold me over? Sure. I don't know how I'm going to get to all this, folks. i got so much news. I've really screwed around. But we'll continue with your calls on the other side. Stay with us. Get ready to hand your guns in. It's good. More than 700 chemicals have been found in our drinking water. And did you know that you have greater exposure to these chemicals while taking hot showers than when drinking the water? That's because many chemicals are inhaled when they evaporate and others are absorbed into the skin. The KDF Dual Media Shower Filter works with both hot and cold water and it's designed to reduce chlorine, lead, mercury, and iron and it inhibits the growth of bacteria, mold, algae, and fungus. The KDF Dual Media Shower Filter typically lasts 10,000 gallons or one year, which Ever comes first. Hospitals, restaurants, and water treatment facilities use this media to reduce chlorine, iron, heavy metals, and bacteria. What about you? Order your KDF shower filter normally, $49 for our special price of only $39.99 with free shipping. Call the Berkey Guy and order now by calling 1 886 3653. That's 1 886 3653. Or order online by visiting us at directive21.com. That's directive the number 21.com now. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah, fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement, a personality cultist, who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascism. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. With food prices soaring to all-time highs, as the dollar continues to fall in value, what can you and your family do to guarantee that fresh, nutritious vegetables will make it to your dinner table? Garden in a Can. Garden in a Can is your source for premium, long-term, storable seeds. Garden in a Can is ready when you are. Plant them now or store them for when you really need them. There are 16 large, hermetically sealed, non-hybrid, open-pollinated packets of seeds, along with detailed planting instructions sealed in a can for ultimate long-term protection. Garden in a Can. It's that simple. Fresh. Healthy. Easy. Only $69.95 for over a half acre of safe, fresh vegetables. Ready when you are. Stop procrastinating and start preparing with Garden in a Can. For more details, visit GardenInACan.com today. That's GardenInACan.com or call 866-598-7396, 866-598-7396. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Jason Burmis just showed me a Fox News clip where they shoot the kid in the back who was playing cops and robbers, and then the cop tackles him and puts him in cuffs. It's like the video of the guy they shoot in the back who's restrained and not resisting in Oakland. Then the cops lied and said that he'd attacked them because they didn't know there were cameras. They confiscated the surveillance cameras from the bus terminal and then lied, but then two different cameras that were in trains driving by and somebody down the platform showed it was a lie. Same thing in East Austin. Cops gunned some kid down yesterday. There were riots. They were attacking police cars. Because, of course, Arde Cervantes says the, the cameras were off in all the squad cars. They're always off. 
But in the case of the uh, of these other cases, the, 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 I mean, that's and I don't want to fight with the cops. But it didn't used to be like this, where it was just constant cop shooting people in the back. Most of them are back from Fallujah, where that was a daily occurrence, and you got awards for doing it. Uh, so this clip's coming up after I finish up with this caller, and then I've got. I heard you last night. What's what, what made me think of this, Jason? Is I was driving home at about eleven thirty. 11.45, it was the end of the show, and you were saying, by the way, here's the Seymour Hirsch, New Yorker magazine, here's Salon, here's all these other news articles. The Army's own report admits they rape children in front of their parents to make I'm them talk. Video. And then you get emails, I get emails, saying we're lying. I mean, no, folks, we're, we're not lying. You, you know, you have to understand this. It's, it's like when I get up and say Baxter Pharmaceutical, or excuse me, Bayer Pharmaceutical, knowingly shipped out Factor 8, knowing it had HIV, that's been on MSNBC, AP Reuters, Australian News, knowingly killed all these people. Folks, we would be sued if that wasn't true. Point is, we're not making any of this up, but I'm going to go back over that today. Coming up, but i got to get to it. But, uh, Burmus, uh, tell us what's coming up with this video clip. Sure, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. Somebody, I get all these news clips, Alex. People are constantly giving me tips, and someone sends me this thing. Yeah, this kid was playing uh, cops and robbers with his friends, and uh, the police officer apparently is on a robbery call. I don't know how that works since nothing was being robbed. And he just gets out, sees the kid, shoots him, and then throws him on the ground and cuffs him. I, I mean, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that guy in Oakland. You said the, the cameras never work. You're right. The cameras didn't work, supposedly, in the subway. But thank God we have cell phones in this day and age. And then they lied. They lied. They said he assaulted the cops. He's, on, he's handcuffed on the ground. And they just kill him. And then the cop gets mad and is wrestling his dead body around and slamming him. Well, he's bleeding to death at that time. And then, like, cuffing him and, and and i mean i got footage of cops breaking pro-lifers arms and they pull out billy clubs and kind of oh, oh and i'm serious no, it's I like know, some I'm kind of that. sadistic crazy man what about what about the uh critical mass protest where they have the permits they're riding the bikes and out of nowhere a cop just picks a random biker i mean you couldn't have seen him 10 seconds beforehand they're traveling at a pretty good pace he just bows up undercuts him and just but it's worse. Then they charge that guy with assaulting the cop. The cop runs out of a group of cops, tackles him. The guy's not even looking at him. His head hits the ground, blood pouring out, and the cops are, Death to America! Death, death, death! The bankers will rule you! They will steal it all! And we're not joking! And, and, and those cops that do that, it's like the Army recruiters and, Army, and, uh, and Marine Corps recruiters in, in Denver and Houston and New York. It's always the same. It's, they go, I'm going to arrest you if you don't sign up for the military. And the kid's going, my mom says, you know, the 17-year-old, my mom and dad say, I don't have to sign up. I'm going to arrest you right now. Mm -hmm. Now I'm coming over. You're going to sign it. And then, and then they get promoted for lying and, and lying to the kids. The government is criminal. In fact, you know, I'm going to go back to the calls. But let's go ahead and play this video now. Go ahead and roll it. I'll punch it up on screen, guys. I mean, it's bad enough, but the story is the kid was playing cops and robbers with friends, Bob. Exactly. Al and no doubt it, uh, this kid's lucky that he's alive. Doctors say he's going to make it. He has a single gunshot wound, but he's in stable condition in the hospital. He told sheriff's deputies he was playing this game of cops and robbers, riding his bicycle, holding a toy plastic handgun. Uh, sheriff's deputies, however, didn't know that when they confronted him last night. He rode the bike here. Police officer made the U-turn there. Went down. I didn't exactly see what happened and stuff like that, but all I know is I heard a bam! That was it. One shot. One shot. And apparently the neighbors didn't know that he had a plastic toy gun as well. It was about 8 o'clock last night that they called 911 saying that someone was riding a bicycle around the neighborhood carrying what they believed to be a gun. Hit pause. Deputies went out there. Again, it's this hit pause. It's this tattletale society. I've had cops called on me putting my rifle in the back of my car to go shooting. They're just, because ah, ah, the billboards everywhere say report illegal guns. And, 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 and they advertise as if all of America is New York City where there's a gun ban where, oh, you got a gun, you're going to jail. And, I, and I've told that story many times. This is how they do it by perception. And, and, and I've seen several stories where they arrest, cops now arrest kids. In fact, Google, YouTube, uh, search, I'm going to stop saying Google because they'll probably shut down searching soon or restrict it. And they're already starting to see that, actually. Uh, YouTube um, search engine. I'm losing my mind. Right Dog pile is a good one. Yeah, Dog pile. Dog pile or scroogle.org. <laughs> Uh, do a search engine, guys. I want to show folks this. Child arrested for toy gun. Mm -hmm. 
And the cops say, we're charging him with a death threat. He pointed the, the green plastic alien blaster gun. The officer saw the weapon and moved in against the suspect immediately. Now go ahead and show the uh, 